If you're watching this video, it's because you wanna make money trading Forex, but there's one tiny little problem. You're not profitable, clearly, because you're watching this video, you're trying to become profitable. But don't worry, there's a solution. In this video, I'm going to teach you the easiest and the fastest way to become profitable in 2024. And this is what I like to call the one strategy. You know, if you like, if you have a girl, she's the one, or if you have a guy, he's the one. Well, this is the one strategy that will make you profitable. And that is because it's one pattern, one session, and one trade a week. It's gonna all make sense in this video. There's no bullshit, everything straight up to the point. So let's get into it. So first things first, I need you to understand that the first thing with the strategy is that you will only be trading one pattern. So it's going to be very simple and very straightforward to understand it. And you will only be looking for this one pattern every single day. This is going to be the pattern that is going to make you successful and will be the pattern that pretty much repeats itself time and time and time again in the market. You're not going to be trading with other types of pattern. You will only be using one single pattern pattern. And this pattern will have about a 65 to 70% win rate of the time because this pattern happens time and time and time again. And it is only a pattern. You're not going to be using indicators. You're not going to be using other tools. You're not going to be using RSI, da, 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 all this stuff that pretty much puts stuff on top of the pattern, which gives it an edge. No, you will only be sticking to the pattern on its own. So you're probably wondering why you only need to take this one pattern. And that is because the market has thousands of opportunities. But that doesn't mean that you have to take every single trade. The market gives thousands of opportunities for different types of strategies. And those different types of strategies, they have different types of entry signals. They have different type of risk to reward strategies. They have different types of take profits, different types of stop losses. Everything is different. And every single different strategy has a different trading plan. For this one is going to be one specific one. So you don't need to use these other ones or take a little bit from here and apply it to another one. Every single trading plan and every single pattern is different and it requires a different type of approach. So you have to make sure you have the proper equation to apply to this successful pattern so you can actually make money. The problem a lot of traders that they do is they see all of these different opportunities in the market and they want to get all of them at the same time or as many as possible thinking that that's how you're going to make more money. The more trades you take and the more patterns you take and the more trading plans you have, doesn't mean the more money you're going to make. It actually means the more money you're going to lose because you're actually involved in the market more when when in the market, actually less is more. Because the less you're involved in the market, that means that you're only getting involved in successful types of trades. The more you're involved in the market, that means you're prone to more risk, which at the end of the day, more losses. And the simplest example that I can put for this is a surfer. When you go out there to be a surfer, you're not gonna surf every single wave that the ocean gives you. You're gonna literally get exhausted and you probably won't have a high surf rate or success rate riding the wave to the beach because there's so many different types of wave that you don't know if it's a small one, a big one, because you're just constantly trying to get on every single wave. So you probably won't be able to ride every single one because you're currently on one wave, then you can't get off of one, then get on one. There's just too much going on if you're trying to surf every single wave. But let's say that you're a surfer and you're just sitting there in the water waiting for that one big wave. Well, once that one big wave comes, you see it coming from afar, you avoid all the little ones that make no sense. And once you get on that one big wave, your surf rate will be a lot higher. The It will be a lot smoother. You can do more tricks. It'll be more worth the while and more enjoyable having one solid wave a day or a week rather than having to crash on a bunch of little waves in the middle of the ocean for no reason. So now you're probably wondering what pattern this is, right? And you've actually seen this pattern hundreds of time and you will continue to see it. This pattern is known as break and retest. Now, just don't think that you know how to use it just yet because there's actually a strategy behind how to use it, what time frame, what session, and what entry signal. That's exactly what I'm going to explain in this video. So the pattern itself of the one strategy will be the break and retest strategy. Sounds simple, right? Well, that is because simple works in the market, but if you use it effectively. And if it's your first time hearing this break and retest and you're wondering what it is, this is what it is. It literally is a break and retest, like that's it. it's literally that simple. And it might sound too simple, but it is what it literally says. It's when something breaks it, it comes back, it retests it to continue to the upside or to the downside. This pattern works obviously both ways, a breakout to the upside or a breakout to the downside. This is where a market is usually at a level of accumulation 
and it will break up to create a high. It'll come back and retest the previous market structure to then continue heading to the upside. Or if you have a breakout to the downside, this is where the market will then have a breakout to the downside. It will then retest the previous structure point or the support and resistance, which we'll get into all that now. So then it continues heading to the downside. This is a very classic move and this pattern happens time and time again. You can enter in two different types of formats in this trade. You can enter on the actual breakout of the pattern or you can enter on the actual retest. But I'm gonna explain a little bit more of this when we get to the actual entry of how you can use the break and retest and how to have the successful win rate. And break and retests are everywhere. Like you see that right there? Yeah, that says hit the subscribe button. All right, so with that being said, and now that you understand that, how can you actually visualize break and retest? Well, we probably break and retest every single day in our day-to-day -day lives. And you're probably wondering, what the hell does that mean? Well, we literally break and retest when we're going up steps or when we're going down steps. Every single time you're going up a step in stairs, you're breaking the last step to retest that step so it can get you to the next one. It's a continuation climb to the upside. And when you're going down the steps or down the stairs, you're using the last step as your support so you can put your foot on the next step so you can continue heading to the downside. The market does these same exact steps to the upside and these same exact steps to the downside. Now you're going to use the steps in your favor to have the break and retest to then go up and then you break and retest to go down. You cannot go to the steps to the second floor without using the break and retest and you cannot go down from the second floor to the first without using the break and retest to the downside. And now this is very key that you understand this because this is going to lead you to understanding how to become profitable as fast as possible. Why? Because this pattern happens every single day. So you can capitalize off of it more often than a normal person would. Because when a normal person sees it, they just think, oh, it's another break and retest, but they don't really think about capitalizing behind it. So if you have to make sure that you understand this pattern because it's going to be the fastest way how you can actually make money. And that leads me to my next point, which is how is it the easiest? Well, the easiest is because we're going to actually see this pattern every single day. And that is by using a very specific time frame, which will lead you to seeing it every single day. And that is going to be the 30 minute time frame. This will be the time frame that you're going to be looking for on this break and retest. And it will be the only time frame that you will be looking for this pattern. Now, this pattern happens on the one hour, the two hour, the four hour, the daily, the 15 minute, the five minute, the one minute, all of these different time frames, it will happen. But this pattern will take a lot longer to happen in obviously the higher time frames. And this pattern on any time frame below the 30 minute simply won't be as respected as on the 30 minute. I've been trading now for seven years and I've literally tried to put this to test many times and it's just not as effective. It's more effective on the higher time frames. It just requires a lot more patience and it requires for you to be in the trade longer and the pattern doesn't happen as frequently as it would on the 30 minute. And that is why it's extremely important you only focus on the 30 minute time frame. And yes, this pattern once again is on every time frame, but it is not as effective as it is on the 30 minute. This is very important to not only having the fastest way to become profitable, but so it is the most effective. So now that you know what the pattern is, which is break and retest, and you know at what time frame you should be looking for it, which is on the 30 minute, and you go onto the market and you see this pattern happen time and time again, you're probably wondering when should you enter the trade? When is the right time? Is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? Is it in the evening? When should I enter the trade? And the answer is you should only enter the trade at two different sessions. The market has four different sessions, two of them having the best liquidity to having no liquidity. Liquidity is when the market has a lot of volume, when there's a lot of buyers and sellers in the market, which is going to drive the market in a direction faster than the other. This is why you only want to take this trade when you see this pattern, either in the New York session or the London session. These are the only sessions where your trade and this break and retest pattern is going to have the 60 to 65% win rate because this is where the market is going to go in your favor faster with the volume versus not. Now, the market does have this break and retest pattern outside of the New York or London session because the break and retest pattern happens that frequently. But you should not be taking a trade in that session because there is no volume. The market's not going to move as fast and the pattern isn't as respected 
on the sessions without volume compared to the ones that it does. And the simplest analogy that I can put with this is very simple and it's actual staircases once again, right? So remember, the break and retest pattern is going to happen every single day, no matter what. And the same way how the stairs are going to be there no matter what. So you get from the first floor to the second floor, the second floor to the third floor, whatever you know level floor you wanna use. Now, depending on the time of the day, let's say it's rush hour and you wanna get from the first floor to the second floor, you have to go through the steps a lot faster because there's somebody behind you and somebody in front of you, so you have to rush up the stairs. So you're breaking, retesting each step to get to that second floor will happen a lot faster. Versus if you go up those steps, let's say at midnight, there's really nobody going up the stairs at that time, so you can take your time going up the steps. Well, that's exactly how it works with the market. When the market is break and retesting in New York session or London session, there's a lot of traffic, there's a lot of movement, so it actually happens a lot faster compared to if it were to do that pattern at a different session when there's not a lot of people. So you don't wanna be entering a break and retest trade when there's nobody at the stairs because it's gonna move a lot slower. You want to enter it when there's a lot of people at the stairs so your trade can move in your direction a lot faster. You have to remember, the more volume, that means that the bigger the candlesticks are. You don't want to be taking a trade when the volume is little bit because the candlesticks are going to be very, very, very small. You want to take a trade when the candlesticks are going to be very big so it can go into your take profit a lot faster than it would in these other sessions. Therefore, you're going to make a lot more money, which is going to be the fastest way and the easiest way on how to make money with a break and retest pattern. Pattern. because you can still make money on a low session volume but it's not ideal because it's not the fastest or the easiest you're going to be in a trade for a long period of time where it can mess with your psychology when you can just simply be waiting for the right session to kick in where you can get that big candlestick in your favor or in the other direction now that leads us to our next point, which is going to be, what is the actual entry confirmation? Now that we know that it's a break and retest pattern, and we know that it's on the 30 minute time frame, and we only take the trade in New York or London session, what is the entry signal? How do I know it's the right entry confirmation to get into the trade? Well, it's actually very, very simple. There's two different types of entries you can have in order for you to enter this trade. The first one is going to be the initial breakout of your break and retest pattern. So when you have a market that has been consistent consolidating at a specific zone on the 30 minute time frame for more than four hours, you're going to see a little box accumulate. Now inside of this accumulation box, you can enter the first trade, which will be the breakouts. Now the breakout has to be confirmed on the closure of the candlestick when it breaks out of the zone. You cannot enter the breakout trade if the candlestick has not closed above the zone. You need to make sure that the candlestick stick has closed with a bullish engulfing above the zone or a bullish engulfing below the zone. This is going to be your confirmation that the market has had a breakout, right? This is the first indication because if the candlestick hasn't closed yet, it's not a confirmed breakout. The market can still have a pullback and close as a big wick continuation, the rejection of the consolidation box where the market is potentially about to break out. Meaning that now once you have have your body candlestick that has closed above or under the zone, you are now ready to enter the first position, which is going to be your bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing confirmation. This is where you want to have your entry point right at the closure of that candlestick. And then you want to have your stop loss under the zone of where the bottom of the consolidation box is. This is going to be key because just in case the price decides to come back into the zone and retest the bottom of the box, your price is still good and you do not get stopped out. This is very important because this way, if the market has another entry confirmation, you can enter at the retest, and I'm gonna get into that point right now. But you have to make sure that you have your entry at the closure of the candlestick above and your stop loss under the box. If you're buying and if you're selling, you make sure that you have your stop loss above the zone and then your entry confirmation at the bearish engulfing candlestick. So this is your first entry, which is the breakout. If for whatever reason you missed the breakout entry, this is where the retest comes in. Because usually when price has a break, it comes back and it retests price. Because remember, 
the stair example, you have to use each step to go on to the next one. So this is where price usually has a retest of the zone of the same exact spot where it was having a struggle to break out. And then this is where you would wait for your next bullish engulfing if you're buying or a bearish engulfing if you're selling. But you make sure you have to wait for the retest or also known as the pullback where the market is going to have a push a pullback and then that is where you enter the trade to the upside or to the downside you have a break you have a retest or a pullback and then it continues to head to the downside that is going to be your second entry only if you missed the first one you do not want to scale in into two positions kind of at the same zone simply won't make any sense so where you enter this trade at the retest same exact thing when it comes to stop loss placement you want to make sure that your stop loss is under the zone where it was trapped in if you're buying you want to make sure that your stop loss is above the zone where it was trapped in if you're selling Simple so far, right? I'm sure all of you guys can remember moments when you've seen the market do this, or you can just simply open a chart really fast and you're gonna see this pattern a hundred times. But there's a catch, there's one catch. And that's that you have to subscribe. No, I'm kidding. No, I mean, you could if you want, but whatever. Uh, the point is that the catch is that you can only take one of these trades a week. Now, I know that's hard. We come from a background, the more trades we take, the more money we will make, but that is not how this is going to work. You only want to take one break and retest trade a week. Why? Well, this is because since this pattern happens so many times, why shouldn't you take all of them? And the answer is because you only wanna take the best one. How do you make sure you only take the best one? By only taking one. And this is going to be very key to your win rate and to how fast you become profitable. Because if you're only taking the best of the best trades, well, you should have the best of the best results. It's almost like a sniper. You're only taking one good shot versus like a machine gun that you're just shooting a bunch of different targets at the same time. You wanna make sure you shoot one good shot with precision and good aim not just random fire at every single object that appears. And that is why at the beginning of the video, I said that you do not take every single opportunity the market has to give you. Even if you get five, 10 break and retests in the same day, you only take the best ones that matter. This is how you're going to become profitable the fastest way and the easiest way, because you're only focusing on what's going to make you money. How easier is that going to get? And what faster than only taking one trade a week on a pattern that happens every single day? Like, I, I can't make this any easier. And patterns like these, I see them every single week in the market. And not only do I make money with them, but every single student that gets on a call with me every single Sunday, where I give them the pairs that I'm going to be trading and how they can use the patterns that I'm seeing the market that's going to play out this week, where it's gonna make them anywhere from 1,000 to $1,500 a week as a beginner trader. All of the students that apply the set and forget strategy make anywhere from 1,000 to $1,500 a week using the set and forget strategy. Now, if you've never heard about the set and forget strategy like how you potentially didn't know how to become profitable the fastest or the easiest way just click the link in the description below i have a video there for you that explains to you exactly what set and forget is and how it's let students make numbers like these or even these so if you want to know more about it make sure you click the link in the description below and that's where students are making anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week as a beginner set and forget trader i hope this video was useful and you to become one of the fastest and easiest traders to become successful and i'll see you guys in the next video